Okay, hello everyone. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello everyone. <laughs> uh, I'm glad to announce we're going international. From now on, the videos are going to be in English, so everyone can enjoy that. And uh, we together will provide the subtitles as required. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Today I am with my man Artemio. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Uh, yeah, thank you. It's a pleasure. Awesome. Like, nice. tell, tell me about yourself, please. Like, I know a lot about you already, but okay. uh, tell our okay, audience. Okay, that's good. Uh, you shock, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, so, yeah, Artemio from Mexico, uh, 32 years old, uh, uh, single man. <laughs> single man, so, uh, yeah. really awesome man, too. So, like, <laughs> girls, please uh, yeah, yeah. contact. <laughs> contact. Yeah, yeah, in the comments below. I will right. filter them. <laughs> Send the picture yeah, to me and then yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah, right. I'll take the visa once to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now I have a dentist. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, being here for a year and a half already? Yeah. In Japan, like, together. Well, not together, together. You know, it's like, it's the same. So, how was your experience just generally? Do you like it here? And were you, like, uh, disappointed? Were there some disappointments? To be honest, that's pretty interesting because I heard that uh, like a lot of people have a lot of disappointments when they came here to Japan, but for me it has been like pretty much the same. Like uh, whatever I already knew from the culture and what to expect from people, it's pretty much about like this. This is it. This is I, I know. Expect. Yeah, this is my expectations. Like challenges, like difficulties learning the language, or like how to interact with actual Japanese people in here. And you know, Fukuoka is quite different from Tokyo and from Osaka where people are used to international people. Uh, they say that they, it's so different when you go to Tokyo and Osaka. It's not that true, I would say. Like, yeah. They are really, really used to international yeah. uh, people. But here in Fukuoka, like, it's actually a surprise that they see you. Like, It's pretty funny because the very first time that I was here... People are scared of us. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. But no, not too much. Like, It depends on... Um, let's say like it depends on how you actually look. Yeah. Uh, in, in my case, they are always like, are you a Nepali guy? Yeah, right? <laughs> Right. All right. Well, I can judge them because when I was living in, in, in Canada and in US, uh, I was also misleading Mexican people from Nepali people. Uh, and my own people, I was looking. Yeah. I was just thinking that they were like that. Like so. it's not always, but me, like quite often, like more than fifty percent of the time, when mm. I interact with the clerks in yes. the shops, like I, the horror in their eyes, <laughs> like just just amazing. I don't understand what what's up with that, you know. Like, am I that scary? <laughs> it's not like they never saw an European, an European person yes. at all, but they, they are so scared. Uh, like, like, it's very strange. I, I, I tried to talk, tried talking with Japanese people about that, and they, they like, well, we don't speak English very well, and like, but I'm, yes. I'm speaking Japanese to you, so, like, of course, like, <laughs> I'm not perfect, but, you know, I'm trying, and also, like, uh, Come on, like how much English do you need? And also in all the countries, people like for for example Russians, Russians don't speak uh, English that that well, but they don't have the horror mm. of uh, foreigners. Yes. So it's not about the language. I, and I'm quite, I'm 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 really struggling to understand why. I'm mm. I'm, I'm thinking I'm getting there, but <laughs> this will be in another video. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, about the wings, I actually saw this uh, YouTube channel uh, called Hot Ones, they have this uh, show called uh, With Fees, they have uh, interviews with, with uh, celebrities and I know that I am a celebrity, celebrity yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, very important person, uh, <laughs> uh, we, we're gonna try, and especially because you're Mexican, you are strong with your hot food, right? Uh, yeah, let's put a, like a disclosure over there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, uh, I, I, I would say like... 99% Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like... I would say like uh, more like a sixty percent because I like it to uh, I'm lack into a lot of Mexican oh. things even though I'm Mexican I like it I, I'm lucky to it I like I cannot stand uh, spicy food it's very funny because like since the moment that you are born in Mexico you you are actually tasting chili everywhere right. right? Like, like they put chili in uh, in in the actual baby bottle, but <laughs> so you get no, used to you're it. You're bullshitting, right? <laughs> no, I'm not bullshitting. That, that, that's pretty much what it happens, you know. Like it actually, it actually happened to me. Like like my mom was making me uh, have like this this. Why? Baby why? Why would you do it? Uh, it's because all the Mexican food. It depends on the region. Like Mexico City, where where I'm from, is not that anymore. But like 
20 years ago, there were a lot of people coming from different states. They were pretty much from villages. And then in those villages, a lot of people were like really into spicy food. So like in order to make the, the, the kids to get used really quick to, to the spiciness of the food, they just put, uh, yeah, some kind of uh, chili sauce or whatever into the into the baby bottle so mm. it can actually get used to. So you have like a normal uh, soup and you will have uh, yeah. like uh, jalapeno in there. And then you have like any kind of uh, different uh, main main food and it will be like um, with, with actual jalapeno, real jalapeno or something. And you also have all the different sauce. So every single thing that you eat is going to have sauce like even those hot sauce well like. i'm glad that uh, you're prepared <laughs> because we are gonna try several sauces here and uh, you just told me that you were you were fed some uh, chili sauce from uh, the moment you were born yeah, yeah, yeah. so obviously you're prepared i'm not prepared that's not no, that's not what it meant it's like i've been I've been put in that situation. You still hate it. I've been, yeah, I've been put that situation. <laughs> and you still hate it. But not really, not really good at handling. So yeah, I, see, I, I, I see, am really see. bad, bad at handling spicy food. So people would say like, are you actually Mexican? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I already say that to you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I would say like, I am a really a uh, fake Mexican. <laughs> at, see, the, at, this see, point. at this point. Okay, we have uh, actually four sauces, four sauces only actually. If we get a lot of subscribers to this channel, I will be ordering some uh, hot sauces from the actual uh, Hot Ones program. They have actually sets of like 10, 10 mm. like season sets, like the, the sauces that they use in, in the season. Okay. And like you can uh, just order it uh, as a bulk and they have all the different levels of uh, spiciness. Mm -hmm. So if you, get, if you get a lot of subscribers and stuff like that, <laughs> we will. <laughs> Order and test this on Artemio again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see how that works so, out. Yeah. yeah, but for now we have uh, four sauces and we have five wings. One wing we will just taste as this because it is described actually as uh, being hot in uh, the Japanese supermarket. I doubt it very much. It's actually like teba kara. It's yeah. called, uh, like, <laughs> the hot wing, yeah. but I, I doubt it very much. Uh, but uh, we'll try it also, like we see how spicy it is, and then we'll go in progression from. Uh, Tabasco. Mm, everyone knows that. Everyone knows uh, Tabasco. Yeah, very popular, very good on steaks. Not hot at all. <laughs> we okay. have like the one I actually bought today, Salsa de la Muerte. It, it's very, very familiar to you, your own uh, uh, language. I never heard it, yeah, but it's Spanish, so it means like it has yeah. to be like spicy. Salsa de la Muerte sounds really I actually tried really it spicy. a little bit of it today, <laughs> just just a tablespoon. It's not hot, so don't worry. Yeah. Uh, we have this, uh, this is Marie Sharp's uh, Beware Comatose Hot. <laughs> so if, <laughs> comatose. If, if you fall in the coma, uh, I'll be here to rescue you. Oh, uh, that, uh, that's so really, yeah, okay. last but not least, we have Blair's Sudden Death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this I is mean. serious business. Uh, like, uh, you see, I already eaten, have eaten some stuff with that, but uh, like, it's not that bad, but I would so, uh, describe it as hot. So, oh, okay. this is the real stuff. Yeah, so now the rules. Uh, okay. uh, yeah, th th this is the actual hot one here, okay? <laughs> this is the actual hot one here. The rules go like this, we do, both of us have a glass of water, we can use it as, uh, as, <laughs> as we <laughs> like, but we got only one. So if you drink the, your water on your Tabasco, you don't have any on your sudden death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, uh, so you have to play smart here. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you have limited resources. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Also, we have a uh, first aid. <laughs> I, I, I don't use milk, we have actually protein drink because we are tough guys. Okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we, yeah. don't, we don't drink uh, just milk, we have to drink protein. <laughs> so if you tap out, you at least get some protein okay, in your body. Okay, 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 so, okay. But if you use it, if you ask for first help, you, you, lo you lose. Oh, okay, <laughs> you okay, lose. okay, okay, okay. You lose. Also, unlike in Hot One programs, we don't just bite into one wing because some chickens died. We gotta eat the whole week. <laughs> well, you have to actually don't waste the food. It's yeah, like, uh, exactly, yeah. exactly. We don't waste the food. So I invite you to try the mm -hmm. leftmost wing with that, which don't have doesn't have any sauce on it. Okay. It's just a uh, simple wing. Just try it. Tell me how it is. Okay. Let's yeah, go. Sure. Cheers. No, <laughs> no, not really. Not really. <laughs>
Mm. 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 Okay, I understand, yeah. So this is not actually spicy. Right? Not spicy at all. In Japanese, mm. spicy food isn't spicy, right? Uh, that's right. I would say like they think that spice means like you put a lot of spices and then a little chili into it. So it's just mm. that you can actually sense it in the tongue just a little, but not that much. So I understand why. But uh, yeah, it's not different. Uh, like really not spicy at all. Like I had some curry mm. in uh, Japanese restaurants, like coco curry and stuff. Mm. The curry is not hot. Like it's spicy, mm. but I wouldn't describe it as hot. Yeah, okay. If you want some hot food, you gotta go to the Indians. <laughs> <laughs> they like outsourcing or what? <laughs> I'm sorry about that, you should... <laughs> We're already getting into, into that kind of topic, but no, no, no. Outsourcing? Uh, yeah. Oh, every, um, everyone in the world does it, so. <laughs> Okay. Okay. How do you like it? Do they mm. taste, actually? Mm, I would say they are not that bad. I like uh, more with the charcoal mm. wings, but it's too difficult to make, so I understand that. But it's really good. It's yeah, I got good it in the yeah. Yeah. Why did you come to Japan? Ah, uh, that's a really tough one because it goes really, really long when I explain it. But there are two main topics. Two things is like the personal uh, stuff, that, uh, my 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 beliefs, and then the second one is like my actual professional path. Yeah. So. At some point it was just like the two of them were merged together and well for the people just to know that I'm Christian uh, So yeah, it's you're Protestant. I am just, mm. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, Protestant. Yeah, yeah, okay. People yeah. think like uh, everyone pretty much everyone in Mexico is a Christian, but uh, <laughs> Not just every Christian, Protestant, right? Yeah, because Protestant. most people in Mexico are actually Catholic, right? That's right. And other people would say like uh, Catholic and, and Christ, Christians, that's what we are called, like Christians and Catholic are really, really so different, but yeah, Christianity comes from like, like Christian, all of them. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. all of them, yeah, the, the, the prime church, it was like that yeah. at the very beginning, so yeah, <laughs> Protestant, 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 so it has to do with that also, like uh, I was just uh, praying to God and then asking for, you know, like a, a purpose in my life and then when all the things that I do, I am, I was back in Mexico, I was like an engineer for mobile communications, 4G, 3G, 5G right now, it's not that we are going to control your minds. <laughs> <He's lying. laughs> they would trust someone who says, oh, no, 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 we will not control you, because they totally will. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like actually like people who would Try to control my cloud. We were gonna, to, to, we are going to, to control your mind, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. with a smile on the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll kill you, kill you with a smile. <laughs> yeah. So it bring me over here. Um, I I tried before. It never happened. Then this happened because I I was pretty much uh, you know relying in in my beliefs. Uh, so what God told me. So I came here. I am part of a really good community. There is a Christian community here in Toluca. A lot of people is always. Uh, asked me about that, like, how do you manage to be Christian in, in Japan, like, I never felt like I don't have a Christian community, so it's been easy, so far so good, and then, you know, like, all, all the things, because I also got interested in Japan, so, since I was a kid, I also want to come here, so, mm. this was something that I am really glad that happened. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so far. Yeah, I see, I see. Let's go for the next wins. Yeah. This is Tabasco. Tabasco. Let's okay. go for it. Okay. <laughs> not as bad, right? It's not bad, but I, I am having flashbacks. <laughs> hmm. I, I have. If I recall, Mexican people don't like too much of Tabasco because of the taste. Yeah. Mm. My problem with Tabasco is that it's quite sour. You know. Mm. Yeah. And too vinegary. Yeah. Like it's not bad. It's not too hot. Or it's, mm -hmm. it's quite sour. Hmm. And exactly like. Mexicans don't like it too much because of that. Mm. Real hot sauce in it. Mexico. It's really flavor. Like really, really flavor. And Tabasco is not. So they don't like it. I, I wouldn't consider it bad. Mm. Because uh, it, it, it can be quite good with the steak. Like I prefer steak without any sauce. Like just the meat itself is good enough. But uh, when I'm too bored to eat just, just, just meat as is, I would put a little bit of Tabasco just to have some uh, sourness. 
mm. in my uh, in my step. Uh, so uh, next question: uh, What are your plans here in Japan? That's really tough one too. Like it has to do with the same things, like the professional path and also. Uh, first of all, do you want to stay here or? Uh, yeah, that's for sure. I, I I want to make a life here. So the, like the very beginning before coming here is like actually making life here a family and everything. So when I'm talking about families, like wife, kids, you know, and also like the uh, like the Bible definition of family. Yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty much about what I what I am also thinking staying here. Like I know that a lot of people. They are just coming here for you know, know about a little about the country, stay for some years, and then just going back to the country. But for me, just like I, I, I like here. I want to get all here, and yeah, put, build a future and a family here. It's pretty much about that, you know. It's interesting that you mm. brought the Bible up because uh, to those who don't know, I'm an atheist, and if you want to see a video between uh, discussing <laughs> Bible and religion between. Uh, Christian, uh, Protestant, and the atheist, Jewish atheist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's a very <laughs> Jew, Jewish atheist. <laughs> like I have my own somewhere. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty funny because uh, yeah, you have like the actual, the actual Torah, like, like the actual. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, uh, like yeah, if, yeah, if you yeah. want to see, I don't want to start. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's just a, a, a teaser. So if you want to see that. Press like, press subscribe, and we'll sure make we'll sure to make this video uh, for you. We'll discuss Bible, we'll discuss religion with Artemio. I already had uh, quite long discussions with, with Artemio about uh, religion. It's it was very interesting. And uh, if right. you want to see that on camera, subscribe and like. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and comment, of course. <laughs> so we're going to the next sauce. This is actually the salsa de la muerte. Yeah, let's go. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, I bought this it today. Yeah. I hope it wasn't vain. <laughs> let's see. Oh wow, it's spicy. Hmm. It reminds me of the pasta actually. Hmm. It relies, yeah, it's soury. But I can feel the spiciness now. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. You have your water, you know. <laughs> I know I have water, but I am <laughs> yeah, you have yeah. to. <laughs> I am starting to think about these two over here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I start to sweat. <laughs> mm. Mm. This is too spicy for me. No, oh, man. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not that bad. Mm. Yeah, it is. Mm. You did it as a champ. Oh, oh you, you don't have to finish that one. There's yeah. barely meat and also no sauce on it. So. <laughs> we have only two wings left, but those are the, the, the most tough ones. I know. Uh, but first the question. Uh, yeah. How is your sex life? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's a tougher one. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. I would say... Like, I know you dated yeah, a girl yeah, yeah, here, yeah, yeah. like, how yeah. was your experience like with the dating and uh, just interacting with the with girls here? I would say, like, I'm quite the wrong person to be asked because I manage uh, relationships quite different from actually, like... Yeah, I know, because Mexicans. of your belief, right? Yeah, that's right. So, like, whenever I think about dating somebody, it's more about, this is something that actually will be accurate for me to do it because of my beliefs and we are talking about Japanese people and just so everyone knows like here in Japan is like 1.5% of the whole population in Japan is just 1.5% uh, of Christian uh, actual Japanese Christian Christians over here so like this kind of thing is make, make makes it more difficult because you have to you're actually looking for a Protestant girl right uh, well, the ideal way will be that because that's what uh, a lot of churches told to people and you yeah. you should just date uh, like Christian girls, but it's it, It's something more complicated than the Bible, you know You will understand that it's someone that actually wants and is just like willing to to get more in, in like in touch with God So it opens more options in that way. I also it like for me I, I'm not a Christian since I was well I born like a Catholic because my family was Catholic, but I never actually uh, think about it like 
like my religion at the time. And then I became Christian like six years ago. So like actually being Christian, it's been like six years Protestant. ago. Protestant. Protestant. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I, I can see that it is... Uh, like, the, 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 like <laughs> some viewers of this channel are Orthodox Christians, are Catholics, and... Uh, okay, like, so... I'm a, I'm a Protestant, okay, I'm a Protestant. <laughs> well, um, I would say within the Protestants, I'm a Pentecostal, like mm -hmm. there's more... Yeah, I know. More, more minorities. So, Pentecostal, yeah. let's just go with that, yeah. okay, so Pentecostal. Uh, so, like, uh, even with that, like, if I were to reject people, and this is something that always makes a personal conflict with me because I know that people say you shouldn't you know, go with people from out the the, the, the church out of uh, Christianity, but that also means like I'm rejecting myself. Like when I was wasn't uh, a, pro a Protestant, a Pentecostal guy, it was more like uh, I wasn't worth it or or what it is. So it, it it's also something that I truly like my own opinion in that case. So I think about more of if this person that I'm dating will accept. How I think, how I behave, what I do when I when 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 I am just like worshiping in general, you know, like everything about uh, my personal life is like, will she accept it? Which is complicated, and it's something that we should be thinking about every single time. So even in Mexico, like Mexican guys are really really flirty. They they really date a lot of people, you know, like it's not even men, like women do that too. So everyone is just really used to flirt and to hang out and to date a lot of people. So even in, in that kind of environment, like people were just thinking like, why are you not dating people? So here in Japan, it's just like the same, uh, just in case like uh, my personal life is more about like, will I, I, I'm seeing a girl, it's like, yeah, she's beautiful. It's a beautiful Japanese girl. I would love to date her, but it's like, it, it will it actually be something fruitful for me? And you know, like complex, all these complications make that, that, that more tougher with everything, with dating, uh, trying to meet uh, different people, you know, like here, you know, uh, Nampa, so, yeah, yeah. so uh, yeah. a lot of people. Approaching yeah, girls. Yeah, yeah. Nampa is approaching, approaching girls. girls. Uh, yeah. Yeah, hitting on girls. Yeah. yeah, it's quite tough here, like uh, when I was doing it, uh, there is a huge percent of girls that just uh, scared of you. Yes. So they, they don't wouldn't even like probably reject you even they would they just try to run away so but eventually you know <laughs> with best perseverance yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm quite surprised yeah, yeah yeah like it works like it works with perseverance with the right attitude you can do it so mm, yes for sure I wish you luck I, I'm sure I'm sure we will do it you will find your proper like Christian girl to date and to marry hopefully <laughs> yeah. and with that we're gonna go with Komatoz. Yo, let's don't put me on a coma. Please. Yeah, if you go into oh, coma, there's what is gonna be with me? First day here, and finding the girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Hmm. This is. Spicy, but this is tasty. This oh, is really tasty. It's you have my taste, the same taste as me. Mm. And I like it. Like mm. for me, it's it is spicy and this is not that yeah. spicy that is burning, mm -hmm. but it's it is delicious. Oh, yeah, the sauce is good. It's, it's almost done. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I use most of it. Oh. Yeah, I can understand why they come at us, <laughs> <laughs> but man, it's it's good flavor. I'm glad you like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I, I, I will take the first save, yeah. yeah. I'm just thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> just bragging about it. Of course, <laughs> this is the way I roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. So, the mm. last question before the final test. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you can go ahead, I will just... Uh, Sips and go for it. Yeah, drown myself in one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how was your experience with uh, studying Japanese? Uh, how you mm. approach to it? How successful do you think you are? And mm. how effectively were you able to use your language in day-to-day -day communication? Yes, uh, I would say like uh, also this kind of experience is pretty much different. Like the background from Mexican people from around my age, like. Uh, being in the born in the 80s and everything, uh, we were teach like pretty much the same system that they have here in Japan. Like you should actually do a lot of repetitions, like 
doing a lot of a lot of writing, 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 memorizing, memorizing, memorizing. So I'm quite familiar with this approach. With I don't mind it. I know it's not effective, but for me it's just like I'm just too used to it, so I approach it by myself. So self-study is just like that. I've been doing self-study since the moment that I started with the Japanese classes and everything. Uh, but I didn't quite follow the same books and the same um, path that the, the school actually gave us, right? Because I would say like there it lacks from a lot of a lot of things, and within that I just try to make myself uh, with it, the, the right books, the right approach, and just put in effort. Sometimes I'm spent uh, kanjis like it's it's something so natural here to see everywhere and. You can spend like six, eight years and not be able to read them, but like since it's the actual essence from from the language is just like the main thing for me. Yeah, you have to do it. Somehow you have to do it, right? Of course. So I've been myself putting myself like two, three hours just sitting on the table and doing just repetitions for these candies and trying to get the meaning and memorizing it. Which at the very beginning I wasn't very sure if it was gonna work it because you know like it's just a lot of them, a lot of them, and with that, also the words and just just yeah, so and some the different pronunciations too. Yeah, uh, which, which yeah, that that that's in another level, right? So, I wasn't really confident about the results, but lately a lot of people have been uh, really told me about uh, they really see the difference between when I was like last year and now, um, because like uh, they can tell that I can speak uh, in a better way with uh, more complicated words and you know like in church and in work like the part-time job that i have i interact with japanese people actually japanese like not a uh, classroom japanese uh, so that makes a whole new level of japanese and then i kind of be on the point that i can understand what i am being told but i'm still not able to reply as they speak yeah but i can do it in like in a kata kata koto yeah which is fine enough i think yeah yeah which is good enough which yeah is it's good enough. how satisfied are you with the school ah uh, that's a tough one i would say like i am not satisfied but i would say like this is like the expectation that i have that i had at the beginning yeah like, so I was, like, gonna be well, what you uh, well, i guess what you're trying to say uh, tell me there are no other options Right, there are no better options. This is the way they teach here. It no doesn't matter, matter yeah. no, no matter which school you go to. Right? Exactly, that's the problem. About I would say like, it is the whole program. It's been like that for the last 20, 30 years. Just doing that way, and I'm not saying that it's the wrong way. For sure, a lot of people have learned that way. That's that's mm -hmm. something that had been. Wow, uh, I would. Uh... For yeah, for for good or bad, they they have been. They have just been doing that way, and that's okay. But. It's different nowadays. The schools have to compete with uh, YouTubers, yeah. with private teachers that they actually handle uh, Zoom sessions, or online sessions in general, like yeah. Google Meets and everything. So you have this kind of a really tough way of teaching in schools everywhere in Japan and outside of Japan too. They follow the same path, and then you are in. In, you you are like in 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 between the the, the, the two paths. Either you go just with uh, something that uh, some do, uh, doing some online teaching will let you study, or you go with an actual tough path, just as simple as that. So I would say like there is not nothing not not nothing too much to do in there. It's just like that. So better or good or bad, it's just like it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I agree on that. <laughs> so, and here we arrive at the last, uh, oh, at the last win. We have the sudden death. <sighs> will we? Will it be the death of Artemio? The sudden death of Artemio? Oh, will he survive it? <laughs> if if it is not today, it's definitely gonna be tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> right, you, see, you see the color? This is the, the color of what's gonna come up to you, up, out of you tomorrow. So here we go. The last one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Oh. No way. No. No way. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Man. Go for it. No. I'm not gonna bite <laughs> anymore. Oh my. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, this is tough. Mm. 
Do you give up? <sighs> If you give up, you have to tap on your on the table. You tap out. Ah, oh, it's in there. It's still in there. I still have water. <laughs> Oh, that's too hot. Oh. Yeah, I'm quitting. <laughs> so you tapped out, you get the first aid, you go for the first aid. You got vaccinated today, that means you don't have any corona, so I'm gonna finish your wing. I'm not taking responsibility <laughs> of this one, oh, man, I'm already getting even. <sighs> no, so. Oh. oh. So, our time of record is. Four and a half wings out of five, which is not bad. He had a bite for a fake Mexican. <laughs> for a fake Mexican. For a fake Mexican, it is not bad. But he did not complete the challenge. He will try better next time when we talk about religion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I will. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> look, look at him suffer. <laughs> look at yeah. him suffer. Okay. Thank you very much. You were a champ. It was interesting to talk about <sighs> to talk about stuff with you. Yeah, <laughs> it is <laughs> painful. <laughs> it was painful to ask those yeah. hot questions. Yeah, not not the actual thoughts, the questions. <laughs> yeah, it was painful. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed our show. Okay. Um, if you like it, press like, leave some comments, and again. If I have enough likes, I see that this thing interests people. I will actually order the whole set of sauces, which can actually break me down, which this thing cannot. And we'll see me suffer. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to see me suffer, press like, press subscribe, oh. and leave a comment. Thank you very much. Thank you, yeah. Artemio. You're Thank great. You. <laughs>